Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a special one. We are going to be talking about Wi-Fi and then I'm going to do a little demonstration of how someone could hack your Wi-Fi password. So this is me in 1998, one year after Wi-Fi was released out to the public. Hello. Wi-Fi was a technology that was invented to allow devices to communicate wirelessly without all of the chunky cables. In the beginning of the year 2000s, there was a huge patent war that threatened to derail the advancement of Wi-Fi as we know today. But significant contribution did come from a team in Australia from the CSIRO and um, Bell Labs in the United States. But in the end, the Australian team and Bell Labs did really fight to protect the patent and they made sure that Wi-Fi was accessible to the public. The first use for Wi-Fi was obviously for business purposes, but it was later introduced to the public so you and I could start using it as well. So there were several possibilities for people to connect to the internet before Wi-Fi. If you're a 90s baby, you will probably remember the time where if you were on the internet and then suddenly your phone rings and your mom picks up the phone and then you get disconnected from the internet. Mom! It's not possible to be on the internet and have someone on the phone at the same time. Your internet access was through your phone service. The way Wi-Fi works is it uses radio frequencies to transmit data. So you probably already noticed uh, on some networks, some things that says Wi-Fi 2.4, Wi-Fi 5.0. Now we're starting to see Wi-Fi 6. So the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz means that it's going to cover a larger area. The wave is longer wave is longer and it's going to be able to cover a lot more surface but it's going to be slower it's not going to be considered as fast as for example the 5 gigahertz which has a smaller wave but is a lot faster to transmit data it's very quick but it doesn't really have a big range in a wi-fi packet it contains the source and the destination the source being your computer your laptop uh, your phone, and the destination being your modem. An easier way to understand this is, for example, take a letter, you're going to write the address of whomever you want to send the letter to, and then to make sure that uh, the letter gets sent back to you in case of an issue, you're going to put your own address at, uh, on the front or the back. The way I got into hacking the first time was actually trying to hack a Wi-Fi when I was 16 years old. So, we've cleared the Wi-Fi part. Now let's talk about hacking Wi-Fi's. There exists a suite of tools called Aircrack NG that allows you to use different tools for various Wi-Fi attacks. So in the next portion of this video, we're going to do a little demonstration and I'm going to show you step by step how you can hack a basic WPA2 Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're back. We're going to continue the live demo here. We have our handy dandy Wi-Fi card reader. This is going to scan for all of the Wi-Fi's around me. Once we do that, we're going to pick my Wi-Fi. So we have it here, test this ID. This one, this is the one we want. Uh, we're going to take the BSSID. We're going to launch air dump on it to try to capture a handshake. I'm going to connect to it using my device to initiate a handshake that we could capture. No, thank you. Ah, seems like I captured the handshake. Cool. Now I saved the handshake in a file, a log file, and then we're going to use a dictionary attack on that one to crack it. If you can't physically connect to it, you can use uh, what is called a deauthentication attack. You disconnect the client and then you force them to reconnect. And then you can capture the handshake at that moment. Once we have the, uh, the handshake, we can crack the hash that's contained in the handshake using aircrack ng. I'm going to create a custom word list just for the purpose of the demo. We are going to put test1234, uh, super Wi-Fi password, um, the password of the Wi-Fi, uh, and then we're going to add, uh, I don't know, uh, some random words. What? Wow. All right. And then we have the Wi-Fi password. So it says here, key found, 
great. That is indeed the Wi-Fi password of my access point. I hope this was interesting for you to know. This was just done using a simple Wi-Fi card reader. You can get these so easily on the internet. Also using a free set of tools um, called Aircrack NG, it was just possible to very simply <laughs> capture the handshake, crack the hash, get the Wi-Fi password. I hope you like this series and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.